Hey there everyone, what's up? This is Zerum here and today we are going to create this card page. I hope that you guys are fine and enjoying. So, if you guys remember, we have created this restaurant web page, website actually, this one, the takeaway. And uh, last time we have created the product page and today we are going to create this shopping cart page. Okay. And... What I'm going to do, this is up to you guys. Whatever you want to do with this section, uh, you can do. I'm just going to help you guys in this product, in this uh, section where product, price, quantity, and total is going to be displayed. And this is the checkout section. So, this is what we are going to code today. I hope that you guys will like it. And. So let, let's start coding this section. I'm here in the folder. I've already uh, opened the folder, restaurant recording folder I'm using. You guys can see here. And in this folder, I'm going to create a new page. The page is going to be cart.html. And then I want to have another page. This page is going to be cart. CSS it's up to you you want to merge the code in the main CSS or if you want to create another page this is completely up to you guys let me close this one and this one so here I'm using bootstrap for extension here we go and now I want to have a cart or shopping cart okay shopping cart then I want to um, copy, uh, sorry, link the style sheet, main style sheet um, for the header section. So what I'm doing here, I should have link related to style sheet and href. Uh, I want to, for the hero image and for the navigation bar, I want to have the, the same um, image but i just made a, bit, a little bit change in the height of the image and then if you guys want to have your own image it's up to you do whatever you want okay i just wanted just for the sake of this project i'm using this one and each ref is going to be main dot css and for my cart code cart css i already have a cart um, page and for that what I'm going to do, I just want to link this cart.css. Okay, this one I'm linking for the cart section, and this is for the hero image and navigation bar. And then I do have a fun awesome icon code here. I have told the proce process of getting this code. Uh, if you are new here, please watch any previous video of mine uh, on this channel, then you will uh, know the. Uh, procedure how to get this code okay I'm using I'm just copying and pasting that one awesome icon code here now I save it and what I'm going to do I just want to copy uh, the let me copy okay let me show you what I'm going to copy it I already it is already highlighted so I want to copy this until hero image okay the code and end of hero section okay this is let me show you what's going on okay i think it will be you guys are going to confuse if i just stop and i'll explain you what i've done here so you guys can see this is the uh, code i have copied the markup as i've already linked the css this main dot css so that's why I'm having all these colorful and all these settings. Okay, what I have done, I just copied the markup from here, uh, index.html. From index.html, I copied the markup from navigation bar to the hero section. I've copied it, I've pasted that into my cart.html. Now, one thing I want to do here um, from main.css because I'm not going to use this one and this project so here somewhere let me show you where uh, this is a logo and 
yep here mm, where the height is 100 view height I'm going to change it to 60 view height okay let me save it and me show you now you guys can see that it is on 60 view height before it was 100 view height and in place of this stay away or all these things happy food and healthy mood I just want to have let me close this main.css and index also because I don't need it and here in place of this takeaway I just want to say um, cart all right cart products okay and you know what I don't want this section so I have deleted it let me save it and you guys can see that I do have on cart products now let's start coding uh, let me close this one so let's start coding this section okay let me change the title because the titles are same so it's going to be a bit confused so there's the title in place of shopping cart let me say cart okay just for my convenience so this is a shopping cart we are going to create like this and this is a page we are going to work on okay now let's start coding so first of all here in the below the hero section I need some room and cart uh, cart section I'm not going to use the ending comment I just want to say cart section and then I want to go with the section element I would like to assign it to class bootstrap class margin top 5 then I want to go with the division assigning it a class and it is a container class so and within this container class I would like to have another division assigning it another class and this time this class is going to be table or responsive it's a bootstrap class okay and then I want to use a table element assigning it a class class is going to be table then I want to have a table head assigning it a class and this class is going to be table head doc again it's a bootstrap class and what this class is going to do this doc class it is going to make this this um, background of the the title uh, into dark okay the color is dark or the color is black so this class this TD uh, sorry T head dark is going to show like this then we have to <coughs> go with the table raw and then table head and scope is an attribute okay and if we use for columns and draws it's, it's up to us but we have to use this scope attribute and then column class the class is going to be text white because I want to have a white text and the text is going to be product now let me save you sorry save it and show you guys so here this is the dog this is a product okay text white now let me copy and paste this I just want to paste it for three and four times so in the product after the product it is going to be price and then it is going to be quantity quantity and then it is going to be total okay so total then after this table had we would like to go with the table body and 
within this let's have a table raw and then table data and within this let's go with the division assigning it a class and okay the class is going to be main then division assigning it a class and this class is going to be um, display flex okay want to use an image and this image is in my images folder and the image name is cart1 and then let's have an alt page uh, alternative text so as usual i'm not going to mention anything here and yes let me tell you the size of this image for your convenience i'm writing the size of the image here the width of this image is 145 while the height of this image is 98 okay so the image size is written here i've just written this image size for the convenience of you guys Okay, for your convenience so width is 145 and height is 98 then after I would like to go with another division assigning it a class and this class is going to be um, description so I'm just using DES and then I want to go with a P element with some you know dummy text lorem ipsum and Then I want to have a another table data where I would like to go with the heading six and this is going to be the amount and it is going to be twenty dollars. Then after I would like to go with another table data and in this let's have a division assigning it a class and this class is going to be counter okay and let's have a form awesome icon here class the class is going to be fas fa um, angle down and then let me bring it here let's have a input element and let's assign it a class the class is going to be input number then there would be a type the type of this is going to be text and let's assign a value the value for this is going to be one and the minimum value for this is going to be zero and the maximum value is going to be uh, 10 or 5 15 and that it's up to you okay then after let's have another fun awesome icon class and this class is going to be uh, uh f e s f a and angle up okay and then after uh, let's have another table data where we are going to have a heading 6 again and it is going to have a $20 okay just for my convenience let me save it let me show you okay so, so this is what we have done okay now what I'm going to do, I just want to copy and paste. Uh, I just want to copy and paste it. Paste the same code for a um, couple of times. So from here to the main, okay, this table data and table raw actually. Oops, sorry. Let me get it again. Copy this, paste it here, and let's see. Okay, and let me paste it again. 
save it. Okay, it's done until here. Okay, now what I'm going to do next now I have to create this section. Okay, so for this section, let's um, here and uh, let's have a uh, another section actually after this I want to go with another section uh, sorry not a section but let me go with a division assigning it a class and this class is going to be column LG uh, 4 and then I want to use the offset um, LG 4 I just want to keep it in the center if you guys want to keep it in right or left, whatever the side you prefer, go ahead. And then I want to have a division, assigning it a class. This class is going to be checkout. And then let's have a, another list here. And then have a list item, assigning it a class. And this class is going to be subtotal. And let's say subtotal. Then uh, let's have a span element. And this span element is going to be $60. And then I want to go with another list item, assigning it a class. And this class is going to be card total. And it's going to be total and then um, span element. Span element is going to be $60. Okay. And you know what? I didn't close this span element. Um, Okay, so span element and list element. Okay, now we have to uh, let's have a anchor tag href and a class. So the class is going to be uh, proceed button or just a BDN so let me say proceed BDN and let's say proceed to check out okay now let's save it let's see what's going on in the browser so we have complete uh, we have done with our uh, markup we have completed the markup done with the markup now let's go to the CSS and start styling this section so here in the cart dot css let me use the cart class then the table class and margin bottom is going to be 30 pixels then i want to go with the border border bottom and the border bottom is going to be one pixel solid and white. Okay. And then I want to go with the card table and table head, then table draw, and then table head th. So what we have to do here border top is going to be zero pixels then font size font size is going to be 16 pixels font weight this is going to be bold and let's use border 
bottom 0 pixel let's save it okay now what we have to do next is let me copy this one table raw and then we have to go with the table data we are padding top sorry padding top is going to be 30 pixels and then padding bottom it is going to be again 30 pixels vertical line is going to be middle and align self is going to be center okay now we have to work with the cart table the body raw data and then main class which was displayed as a flex a flex class and padding um, padding right is going to be 30 pixels okay now we have to go with uh, let me get this same class copy this paste it here and i just want to go with the image element and the border is going to be one pixel solid black and border radius Border radius is going to be three pixels. Let me use the important flag here. I cannot see. Is the problem why I cannot see okay we'll, we'll check it okay and then we have to move, uh, move on again and let's get this main class the same selector so let me paste it here and in the main now I have to go with the description class so the description class is going to have a vertical align center sorry middle and align self is going to be center okay then i want to get the same selector let me paste it here this is going to have a p element so margin bottom zero pixel okay the next thing is heading six we have so what what we have to do is cart table mm, table body and raw data heading six and the font size is going to be 16 pixels and the color is going to be black then margin bottom is going to be 0 pixels okay it's working as you can see 
Now we have to go with the counter class. So what I'm going to do, I just want to copy this selector until this TED table data. Let me paste it here and let me have a counter counter class. Then margin bottom for this is going to be zero pixels. And let's have a counter font or some icon. And the border for this is going to be one pixel solid black. Yeah, it has to be this. And padding. Padding is going to be 7 pixels and the display is going to be inline block and position is relative. Let's save it. Okay. Okay. So you guys can see the nice border. Then we have to go with the uh, counter input. So for this counter input means this one or this input element here so what I'm going to do let me have a cart and a table and then table body and table draw table data counter input okay the width for this is going to be 100 pixel and let me have a glass of water okay <clears throat> excuse me now I want to have a padding padding left and padding left is going to be 30 pixels then let's have a height the height is going to be 40 pixels and let's have a outline it should be none and the box shadow is also going to be none let's save it Let's see. Okay, so it's working, but not as it has to be. There is a problem somewhere. Let me check the problem. Okay, the card, table, table body, counter input. Okay. Let's code for the next section and then we will check again the rechecking of this section, okay? So, or I don't know if there is a problem. Right now I cannot see any problem, but if there is, we will sort out padding 6 in line and the counter input element. I mean, just I'm just confused with this input element. Counter input width is 100 pixels. I think the width is not going to be 100 pixels. Let me change this width because it mm, could be 50. Let's see, okay? And then you know, no. So, need to fix this issue. Padding left is 30 pixels. Let me check something, okay? Hold on. It is not as same. I don't know when I uh, code for recording why I do have too many mistakes. I, I really don't know about this. Let's fix this issue, okay? 
I need to check it again so right now it is padding left because it is not affecting on that and there could be some problem I think I made so we'll check it okay we'll fix this issue but first of all let's search, um, go with the checkout on ordered list and then we have to go with the, the border for this mm. two pixel solid not a pink actually it is going to be okay it's not white but close to white and then i want to go with the background and the background is going to be again not white but close to white padding left 25 pixels and we do have a padding right so 25 pixels and then padding top you know, padding top 16 pixels Padding bottom 20 pixels. And now let me copy this one. Bring it here. Paste it here. List element. Uh, sorry, list items. And then list. Uh, list style is going to be none. Then we have to go with the font size. The font size is going to be 16 pixels and font weight is going to be bold and color is going to be 252525. Okay. Uh, grayish color close to black and then we have a text transform um, property so where is that text transform we want to use a uppercase and overflow for this is going to be hidden and then what we have to do next let me copy this one paste it here and uh, let's use a sub to total sub total and font weight is going to be lighter and text transform is going to be capitalized then I have to go with the border bottom sorry within this let me have some water Border is going to be border bottom one pixel solid and it's going to be white padding bottom and padding bottom I want it to be 14 pixels and then let me get the same selector copy this paste it here and I want to go with this pad element so here the font weight font weight is going to be bold and then we have to go with the let me copy this one okay sorry paste it here and I want to have a card um, card total so t 
OTL Cop Total Class, where padding is going to be padding top actually is going to be 10 pixels and now let me copy this this selector and now here I want to go with the span element so the color for this fan element is going to be E7 AB3C and then I want to go with uh, with this checkout um, let me get this one okay this selector paste it here let's have a span element this is a float property and let's see right and then let's have a button check out proceed let me save it and let's see first of all let's see what's going on here we'll fix this issue okay just a minute and we'll fix this issue so right now we are here the total color isn't uh, it's not change why it is let me use the important flag if anything is not working from your your side try to use the important flag okay and again it's not working the important flag is also not working there should be some issue i will fix this don't worry let me complete it and i'll fix it then we have to go with the check out proceed median where the font size is going to be 15 pixels font weight is going to be bold color this is going to be white background would be sorry 252525 close to black but not black text transform is going to be uppercase and padding so the padding here is going to be 15 pixels 25 pixel 14 pixel and then again 25 pixel let's use the display property here it's going to display as a block text align Better. let's save it go on to the browser okay okay now let's fix the issues so the issue main issue is in this input field okay because it has to be in a decent way and yeah there is a problem in the total also so let's fix these two issues okay there so I have made too many mistakes while coding. So these are not the mistakes actually if I say the blunders I have made. The first one is in the markup and in the markup here table re responsive there is another division and this division is uh, it has a class and this class is going to be card. We have used this over there but I forgot I, I I forgot to mention or it was missed by me I, I don't know how to say but this was the um, this was a major mistake I have done here okay and let me say there is the division so first of all let me show you now okay now it is working it's looking nice and great now the others the second mistake um, which was done by me is this one this one okay so what happened it was h6 not 5 so I just mentioned h5 so what I'm going to do I just want to change it so let me click it here I'm holding the alt key and then I want to go again here pressing it here I just want to change you know the 
and all these three columns so okay h6 so now now it's looking better okay now let's move on and let me show you another mistake of mine which is here for this color so here in the card.css the mistake is that I've used the space here I don't have to so I'm using the I'm pressing the alt key okay and I'm going to remove this space let's save it and let me show you okay so Tana, this is what we have done the the border is also we have a nice border yeah it is three pixels let me change the three uh, let it be one pixel okay it shouldn't be th uh, with three pixels so 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 where is that mm, let me find that where is that it's not the counter one it's that with the image and here we go and let's remove this important class I don't think that we need it we are not, not overriding so okay so we have a slight border um, just to show you guys that there is a border I can see I'm not sure if you guys can see let me use it I uh, use two pixels here okay okay so there is a nice border around the image this is what we have done this is how we can design the card page there, there are different styles of card pages also so maybe we will create any other card page with some different style uh, with another design a different design so for this one I hope that you guys like this and if I don't think that I uh, I left anything I almost I have covered uh, everything regarding this section plus uh, we have um, change the mistakes also sorry the, we have correct the mistakes and yes I don't like this subtotal in um, this lighter form I should use it it should be bold okay so here let me change that it be bold not light and yep now it's looking nice so this is what we have done for today's video I hope that you guys like it and you understood some things which I have tried to explain you some things I, I don't know what are those things but I, I hope that you guys like it if so don't forget to subscribe the channel and if you like this video hit the like button I'll see you with another interesting project hasta la vista ciao ciao